Now you can build your booking appointments with services, operators and amazing designs. Hey everyone, this is Tan with an amazing new update. The bookings and appointments are here. So you can now build your own calendar with availability and all these cool things and add them to your pages. So let me show you how easy it is to start building your first booking and scheduling event. So you can do it from the booking button on top. This is a new section that we've added. It is part of the CRM. Uh, as you can see, you can still have the contacts, the inbox and all these things. So the booking and appointment is now there uh, as a new section. In this section, you can see that you can create your booking event that we'll be doing in a second. Uh, you can see a schedule with all the booked events. Currently, we don't have any, any uh, booked appointments, uh, operators and services. So you can have multiple people that are being connected to different events uh, or to the same one and services that you can also have. So we'll go into this into more details. So let's create our first booking event by clicking on create new booking event. Now, here is the page where you can start building your first event. The first thing is, of course, the information about the booking. So let's add our first uh, event name, my first event name, for example. Uh, some kind of description of the event, if you want to add or not. And the location, where do you want this uh, appointment to be happening? So it can be like uh, uh, some kind of an address, uh, a map, uh, or uh, maybe a link like Zoom or Skype or Hangouts, wherever you're going to be doing your meeting. So let's just add location of the event. And this is an option to get, so the user who signs up for your event will receive an email about uh, the event. So they have like, a well, not a receipt, but an email with a summary about the event that they just booked a time slot for. And the next step is the operators. Here you can I have to, to create an, uh, an event, you have to add at least one operator. So that will be the person with the availability. So if you're just one man uh, band, so you can just create a one and use it uh, for your event uh, by clicking on add new operator. From there, you can start building your operators or from the previous step where you can actually access all of this, but we'll, uh, we'll see it in a moment. So here we can add, for example, Stan with a standard symbol as my email some description if you wish it's optional let's uh, let's add a ceo and an image of course optional but that will make our event a bit prettier so let's select an image if you want you can also connect your google calendar we'll be adding more options but for the moment you can uh, link your google calendar for the availability and quick um, integration with google and just like that we created our first operator now we can add another one and another one so uh, depending on what uh, how many uh, your uh, plan has as available uh, operators but let's add a new one just for the sake of the example let's say john john at symboly for example uh, sales let's say as a description of the user of course it can be like a whole sentence if you wish and let's add an image for john Again, you can link another Google account for John so that they have their own calendar. And we can link both of those or just one into our event. So if you want to add a new one, just click and add it. So now we have Stan and John part of this event. You can link a service, but we'll do it uh, a bit later. Let's just see it with just operators who have their availability. So you can click on next. And there you see the availability. This is uh, for each operator. You can set up, you know, when they're available. We call them operators because, uh, I mean, they can be, of course, just some kind of employees of a, of a business, uh, whatever you wish uh, that has a specific time slot. We just call them operators for their general usage. So for Stan, let's say 15 minutes uh, durations for the next, let's say three weeks and available every day. And here you can adjust the availability by day or for, you know, for in general for the whole thing from nine to five in this case. You can add, of course, different rules uh, this way and exclude whole days or even, you know, whole uh, time slot, maybe a week that you'll be, you know, not be able for, for any calls and meetings and appointments. So you can remove this way. So you can do the same thing for John. Let's say John has 30 minutes uh, of, uh, of meeting durations for appointments. 
uh, and you can set up a different availability for John. So this way you do it for every operator. If you have just one, it will be just one. And then is the form questions. What are the questions that you want to ask your users before they submit their uh, inf you know, information to book an appointment with you? So in this case, by default, we have always the name and email. Of course, if you wish, you can add like a phone. Uh, maybe you want to add, um, you know, anything that you want, you can add. Of course, this is information that is coming from these are all the fields from your CRM. So if you want them to be assigned to the actual profile, the user that is being created, you have to create your own properties. If not, you can just uh, normal use normal radio text, etc. So ask whatever questions you want this way and click on save if you are ready with your questions. And lastly, there is the confirmation page, which you can leave blank if you wish, or you can add some kind of a messaging um, that is more personalized, whatever you wish that will show to the users. Also, you have the option if you wish to direct them directly to a custom page where they can, you know, you can have a custom thank you, uh, thank you page or with some kind of you know, actions that you want them to do, or maybe you look at some kind of a video that's entirely up to you. It's a fully customizable page. Or, of course, here you can add your message and description of the message and a call to action again, if you want them to take some kind of an action on this thank you, uh, thank you message. So you can add your button here as well. And this is it. This is how simple it is to create your first, uh, first uh, booking event. So let's just click on save changes. And just like that, we've created it. So now we can start using it. As you can see, you have the booking events. And um, yeah, let's go and oh yeah, if you click on the operators now, you see that we have the Stan and John. These are our two operators that we just created. So you can of course modify Stan and John and the information about each one. The services we'll see in a moment. So now let's go into the builder and see how we can use this booking widget that we just created, the booking um, event. So we have to connect it with the widget and we have this booking widget that was uh, introduced, which will be using this event into the page. So let's just add a new block here and let's add inside of the block the new booking widget. We just place it and we have to select which is the booking event that we want to show. And we just select my first booking event, the only event that we have. And it shows, it shows with Stan and with John, the two operators that we have added for this event. If it was just Stan, obviously there will be or John or whoever just one person obviously this step would be you know not necessary not needed so they will be switching directly into the whole calendar so there's other things that you can modify here such as you know of course create a new event it did the it did the current event um, you can modify what kind of a font you want to use as you can see it will change everywhere that you have headlines so you can make it as pretty as you want by using your custom fonts. Yeah, just use one of those. And the general font, of course, you can modify. The other things would be the colors. Of course, there's different options and stuff like that. Maybe you want to show a progress bar as well at the bottom. So yeah, feel free to play around and create whatever design that you like. And uh, <clears throat> if you're wondering what is the box, for example, the box is this one. This option is for uh, the service and the operators. So let me just show you how easy it is. You can just change the background and the color. So you want to make it like fun looking like this, for example. Uh, so you can play around and create whatever designs that you like. It's, uh, it's really easy. But uh, yeah, for the sake of the example, let's just leave it how it was like this. And uh, of course, if you want to change these headlines, you can also modify them from here on each step. The operator, the service, you can call them whatever you wish. Feel free to do it in any language in whatever type of information you want to put in over here. And you have the uh, settings for, you know, for the summary, which is this section, the form. This is the final step where they submit their information. Uh, and you can also tag your users. So if you want to tag people coming from this, contacts coming from this form, you can tag them with, with some kind of a tag. If you have another campaign with another booking uh, widget, there uh, you can tag them with something else so this way you can easily quickly uh, distinguish all these uh, things apart and the next one would be the layout 
this is uh, the four different layouts that we have here they're very beautiful uh, for example here you have another layout that summary is on top um, and a really cool calendar there is again summary on top but with different layout we'll look into them in a moment and on the right is the steps and on the left is the summary so let's just start with this basic one and we'll see the last the, the rest of the designs uh, in a bit uh, later so let's click on save and let's test our first booking widget now here it is it's there it is animated it's really cool and when you select an operator you see you go to the next step with all these cool animations the the steps are also showing because we showed that of course you can remove if you don't like it you can select the day uh, availability and as you can see stand was available only for three weeks so only uh, three weeks are now available here and you can select any time slot that is available and it is not uh, you know booked already so let's say 10 a.m for first of may and we go to the book and schedule uh, you know the final step basically where is the information that has to be added for the user on here as you can see is the information about the booking uh, you know what is the booking event the location the description with who and you can go back to the previous step if you want to go back and schedule another meeting so you can play around you can submit your information let's say test person uh, test at single day let's say and let's add some phone number and just like that this is it you just created your first event uh, and somebody just submitted it in this case we did it and of course you have a summary about it and that's it this is how simple it was and, and easy to do it and as we now go into the booking you see that in the schedule you see now the scheduled meeting for 1st of May and you can see the operator is done the location of the event and the information that we submitted to book our call so this is it you can filter by different options here if you have a lot of bookings so you can filter by operator by uh, by events but ser by service etc by date as well so you can play around and do it like this now let me show you how to do the services this is really cool because you might have different services for your business or in general as a user you can have different services which may be you know with different uh, explanations so you know segment people into different services and each service might have different time slot so from here you can add a service name for example let's say service one and then we have some kind of description of service one let's say that service one is 15 minutes and let's apply some kind of an image to make it prettier and then let's create another one let's call it service two and let's say the service two is going to be 45 minutes instead of 15 so it's a different time slot and let's adjust a new image and just like that we've created our two services that we can now link inside our event so if we go to the event event to edit it in the operators and services as you remember you can link now into this event to this operator a service so when you click on it you have the list of services of course if you want you can also edit them and add them from here same way as the operators so we want to link both services to the operator here as well at all two services when you're ready just click on save changes and uh, as you will see now the availability for each user is no longer selectable from here only the availability in terms of uh, time uh, in days uh, but not in terms of you know segments because we have the services which will be determining what kind of a time slot they'll be booking so let's click on save changes again and we can go into the builder and see how our event is now looking that has a two services added to it so as you can see we have now four steps instead of three and you have this option in the widget now you have the option to start with a service so if you're a business which you want people to first select what kind of a service you'll be providing or you can call it whatever you wish for that matter it's, it doesn't have to be a service that it can be something else because you can change the name of it from from here like i said maybe it's something else um, anyway so you can start with a service or with the operator so if you start with a service you see what operators are available 
and the other way around. If you, if you select an operator, you'll see whatever services are available with that operator. So let's, for the sake of the example, start this time with the services. Click on Save Changes and let's preview our new booking with the services. Again, they show how much is the time slot, the description of the service and of course the image as well. So let's say 45 minutes. We can select again the operator that we want for this service and as you can see the increments of time will be 45 minutes this, this time and you can select your time slot you see the summary about the information you also see that it's not, not now not the event but the service name that you'll be booking uh, an appointment for and here you can add your name let's say service test one with service test at assembly.com for example you just add your information submit and this is it we just uh, scheduled for a service with an operator simple as this so now if you go to the booking you'll see that we have another schedule for another day but we will also see that there is a service in all these cases the person who booked will receive an email and you as an operator you also receive an email about the event that was just booked with you so it's uh, so everybody knows about the event, so it, there is no uh, misunderstandings. So this way you can you can manage everything. You can click on the uh, you can see that you have upcoming bookings for this service is one, and you can see when and for who it is. You can just basically do it from here from the service filter. Basically, this is a quick way to do it. And this is it. This is how simple it is to create your first event to see your schedule this way and of course if you click you can remove the filter to see the operators and the services very soon we'll be adding the option to have a pricing uh, some kind of a fee for each service so there will be like an extra step for payment or maybe it will be happening directly into the form so that they can submit a payment for the service that they just booked a meeting for an appointment so this is it. This is how simple it is to create your own services, your operators, your events, um, and uh, just your schedule. And uh, yeah, very, very simple and easy. Now, before we go, let me show you the different layouts and how they look actually. So here you can change the layout. Let's try this one, for example. And let's click on Save Changes. If you preview, you see that it looks like this with a summary on top. We can select again the service. Everything is animated as you can see, really cool and slick. Select the operator, book a time and follow the uh, the fast the last step. If you do it with this design, for example, the first few steps are the same, but the calendar is different. So it's really cool design there. So let's see. Let's select here. As you can see, now we have this area on the on the left and the time on the right. So it's really interesting looking type of a layout. So depends on what kind of a usage you have. And the rest one would be uh, basically like the first one, but with the information, with the summary on the on the left hand side. So this way you can play around and create the design that you always wanted. Again, combining the colors and everything from here to do so um, and yeah here for this example let's just leave it as this as it is uh, very beautiful like like that let's add some margin on top and we have a really beautiful um, you know booking on this page of course you can add this ca calendar into any page that you like to you know to have people to sign up for your uh, for your um, you know services or whatever it is that you're trying to to have people to sign up for and to make some kind of a demo call or, or appointment of any sort so really quick and easy to do so of course you can also change the time zone as a user who are booking a specific thing so if you select you'll see that the, the hours is also changing depending on the time zone which by default will be the person's browser which probably nobody else nobody will be switching really but uh, yeah they have the option if they if they wish they can switch the time zone as well as for your calendar it uses your website or funnel uh, language and, and time zone that you do it from the settings from language and time so this is the time zone that will be using your schedule link and your uh, your appointment and everything so keep in mind that if you want you can adjust it from here 
this is the important part for you for your booking and scheduling and uh, yeah this is it this is how simple it is to build your booking and scheduling i hope that you enjoy it uh, i think it's really really easy to to use it and it's all integrated with your crm and now as you can see for these users that just booked for example you see of course information about the user itself uh, if there was attack obviously there will be attack here and here you have the new uh, section which is booked events and here you can find the booked events from that user you can of course cancel the event and all this information if the user was using a, a gmail an account that they have with with google this event will also be added to their calendar automatically when they book an event so this is really cool they don't really have to do anything all that much and um, yeah this is it everything is integrated with the crm uh, it's all works seamlessly and uh, i think it's really beautiful and really easy to use i hope that you uh, really enjoyed it if you have any questions just ask them uh, below in the comments and of course any feedback is is more than welcome so let me know what you think in the comments below like the video if you if you like the new feature and hopefully uh, you really enjoy it and have a lot of uh, calendars with a lot of appointments coming your way this is from me stan and i hope that you really enjoyed it and speak to you uh, talk to you in the in the next video